these couch, I love this couch, uh, but uh, the problem is, is that I, I either should sit right on the edge and look like a, a nice young man or old man, or, or I can lean back <laughs> like this. And then it's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling like a slouch otherwise. Awesome. Well, yeah, because I can't really, I, what? I can't really figure can't what? out how to get this to work right. How to get this? What is this? I don't know. The, the, what is like, this? The sitting, the correct sitting posture. This is kind of like how when I first started doing this, and I like, I knew that if I sat there, I mm. needed to sit in a certain way. Sure, being and, on that corner. But if I if I sit further up, then I'm like way back here, right? Butt city. You're in Butt City. Yeah, yeah. And so then I, it's just always. Do they have any? Are there any actors tips for how to present sitting on stage? Is there like a you know like the like the model trick of like well jut your jaw out a little yeah, bit to, to, to that for pictures, for pictures definitely yeah. there's the pull your if you're taking a picture you should always pull, put your face as far you jut your chin forward yeah because okay, okay. then you well look. and then even the MySpace angle right you get to that to the MySpace right. angle you need to do one of those so because otherwise <laughs> yeah yeah hi Brett hey how's your Tuesday? It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It's it was a whirlwind, a, a whirlwind, a whirlwind. Why was yours a whirl a whirlwind? Excuse uh, me. Uh, the 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 regular job kind of bled further into my travel time, and so oh. that's why I got here five minutes into the meeting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, and I I I mean, what that turns into is usually anxiety of wanting to get here because it's. It is a distance that I'm driving. To it here. is. It is. Um, yeah, and and I've I've been on I've been on the other side. I've been on that side of like missing a meeting because especially because of traffic. Yes. Always because of fucking traffic. Yep. Because uh, this happened to me you know, a month or two ago, mm -hmm. where I coming down driving down here, uh, the for whatever for whatever re oh yeah, there was like a pa uh, one of the one of the stoplights were out mm -hmm. up by that 290 71 junction yeah and so instead of going at the rush hour prescribed time it was at a flashing red light and everyone was treating it like a stop sign yeah so that took an hour um and and then so so i'm i and i'm and i left early that's mm -hmm. what fucked me up i left early too. yeah i got i left early to get ahead of this and then be, and then i think you were late oh, and then and then <laughs> sorry the belly was really really prominent sorry uh, keep, keep going <laughs> the uh the um I, I'm, I'm told we've got a picnic that should get uh sorted out on the live stream in just a moment uh the uh so, so I'm, I'm late. I'm like an, I'm like so late. I'm like, I don't know. I'm maybe 30 minutes late, mm -hmm. 25, 20, 30 minutes late. And you were even further behind me. I remember. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm getting texts from the guys. <laughs> Justin calls me. Justin calls me because I'm like never late. Right. And he was like to, to, to see if I was okay. Or maybe he, he had just texted me. It didn't matter. Um, but I'm getting these text messages of like, okay, we'll go do the meeting at the bar. Yeah. We'll just go to the bar and have the meeting. We'll just go to the bar. Well, so, uh, okay, but like, <laughs> why'd you just meet us at the bar? Uh, well, because you've got other stuff to do. I could, yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I kind of would, and and then uh, so anyway, it was not a good day. No, I, and so I, I, I get, and you know, I like Annalisa missed the whole the whole production meeting today, and I, uh, uh, uh I. I don't know. I wonder what that feels like. Because uh, I know for me, it felt devastating. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it felt it felt like whelp. You know, there's a, there's a lot of that. You mm -hmm. know, I do. I always do my due diligence and making sure if I think I'm going to be late. Sure. I text it. Uh, like I and used the, to text Brian. Now I text you. Mistake. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and the only reason we got started without you was because I thought from your text message you would be. I thought you, it was going to be you, really late. Yeah, you uh, you, you made us. You thought you would miss the whole thing. The whole so thing. We didn't, yeah, yeah. But we got a good show coming up for you tonight. Yeah, gonna be a great one. Yep. How was your weekend? Did you do anything this weekend? Uh, this last weekend, uh, I I I'm I am a uh, a grown adult. Okay. Yeah. Now. Okay. And that is uh, we spent Ek and I spent definitely Saturday just 
you know, playing the video game. But uh-huh. date night, which is now Saturday night, yeah, means going to a club? Oh, no. Going to a bar? No, I don't think so. Sure. Uh, catching a dinner or a movie someplace? I don't think so. Brett, uh-huh. what is it? We go to HEB and go shopping at 8.30 at night because that's what everybody's cleared out. But you didn't do it because it was your anniversary. No, my or, no, or no, was it wasn't even there. Yeah. yeah, but you didn't. Did you? Was it date night or was it just chore night bleeding into date night? Uh, my wife specifically said to me, oh. "Hey, I really why don't we wait till the sun goes down and then we'll go over to H E B and do some grocery shopping." Yeah, I really enjoy grocery shopping with you in such a situation. Oh, that's very sweet. What time? Yeah. What, what time is this? Is this like? After sun, or I guess you said eight thirty ish. Eight thirty, yeah. You know what? I went to H E B in the evening the past week, uh, a week or two ago as well. Mm-hmm. When I went, I don't know if you had this experience. When I went, it was fucking packed. What? It was fucking super packed at like nine nine thirty at night. Which on a Wednesday? Is it? Is it a it's, new one? It, it is. It's a newer. It's a bigger one. That's what it is. But it. It was, it was not. It was not like oh, they didn't have any tellers or anything. It was, there were so many fucking people at, out there at night. Like it was, it would have been busy during the daytime yes. if it was daytime. Yes. Um, uh, by the way, in the chat, we're hmm. being told that you know a grown adult oh. or. Get ready for some middle-aged white guy talk. Yeah, yeah, sorry. About you know, mm. you know what? Yeah. See, this is a learning. You get to see, you get insight. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of insight. Look, it's my wife, oh, and she's hello. bringing me a raspberry cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. Whoa, wow. Because really she nice. loves me. I do. Oh. That's right. There we go. Thank you, E.K. <laughs> E.K. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, in, in, Oh gosh, and, and in terms of, we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about one thing on about YouTube in the main show. Yes. So, th- but I'm not I'm not eating I'm not biting into that. I have fallen into e- YouTube. You YouTube YouTube. Hmm. <sighs> on YouTube, they've got tv shows on there so it's th- sometimes they just put the fucking put the i watch a lot of hell's kitchen on there i've talked about that a lot because mm-hmm. they literally just chop every episode up and post it one at a time one at one a day is that okay it's the actual show okay so i sure so yeah fe- morally i feel okay and all yeah and uh but apparently there's one show and i had not i had not heard about it until i saw it and then i watched like three episodes of it world's strictest parents have you heard of this? No. Have you seen this? No. Apparently, I didn't realize this. Well, it, it like many reality shows, started as a British thing. Sure. And then it was picked up on CMT. Remember CMT? Country music. Country music television. Television. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there's... And now, gr- granted, I only watched a few episodes, and I'm... I, and so I don't know exactly which because you know they're different. They're different. Each country has done a version of this, and so and so on. But watching watching these little like Australian uh, rabble rousers, the kids, the kids get sent off to like a ranch of a, a Montana ranch, and that's a long way to go. It's a long uh, yeah. There's a there's a lot of episodes with New Zealanders and Kiwis. Being being sent to America or wow. or other parts, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing, and I think and again, only watched a few episodes of this. Seen a lot of kids. Seen a lot of Kiwis and Australians. Sure. Uh, it certainly seems like we need more horses in the world. It certainly seems like what I, what we have actually just been missing, as evidenced by this twenty year old piece of video that has been absolutely produced. Horses are the thing that we have been missing to get everyone's shit fixed. They tell us who we are. That's what they do. Really? It, like, the, there's something... Like, two episodes in a row, two different episodes in a row. I, I watch it, and it's like the kids go to, like, a, a ranch house. Or, or, you know, to a ranch. Sure. To, to a ranch. Uh, and they're being, like, carried and sticked with... 
Uh, well, okay. Uh, they're being carroted. They're being what is stick and carroted. They're being attract. They're being t- enticed. Yes. They're being enticed by. Got it. They're being enticed <laughs> by. Oh well, don't you want to ride a horse? Like, don't you want to ride a horse? And then they're horse. like, "Yeah, I'll ride a horse." Yeah. Uh, no, it's that's... okay. I want to ride a horse. <laughs> It was, no, who was that? I don't know. That was Australian. Re- oh, really? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Yes. Just, just you know, you that, always know any, uh, accents are authentic when I have to tell you what they are. Hey, I appreciate you distincting that for me. <laughs> it's <laughs> and and uh, gosh, and and uh, El Condor Pasta says uh, in our chat, it's kind of fucked up. And granted, all of these shows are fucked up. Sure. Like, this is pretty... Fu- like, granted... Mm, hmm. Hmm. Okay, it is kind of fucked up. Right. The... The... The experience is probably not... Awful. Right. As far as, like... Like, granted, I'm not a teenager. I don't, I, I, I don't have any, any uh, problems having... Sovereignty over my 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 humanity. Sure, um, but you know, hey, go spend a week with the world's strictest parents, who are like just people trying to be even with these with teenagers. Like, they, uh, I I. I mm, mm, are you seeing mm. that the the strictness is really? They're trying to make it seem like a bad thing, and actually, they're being totally reasonable, just stricter than most. When I don't know if that's a foreign language version of the show thing, okay. or if that's, or if that is part of it, because because that is what I've seen in a lot of these episodes, which is like the parents are being pretty reasonable. I understand what they're talking about, and they're talking to sixteen, seventeen year old kids who. You ought to be able to reason with them and and yeah, have they consequences. Are yeah, sure. You know, it's not like the the eight passengers thing, where we're no, we're not even going to get into that. Yeah. But it's not it's not like we're talking about kids or children who like, you know, you can't you can't reason with a three year old. Like you fucking literally can't reason with a three year old. Right. You know, but but a, a sixteen year old, if you say, hey, please fucking don't smoke in that in this house. Right. Or don't drink in the house. Like. Yeah, then there's like don't do it. Don't yeah. do it for a week. You know? One week. Be a good kid for one week. Yeah. I, and maybe that's a that's a, a ch- that's challenge enough. Maybe that's a good challenge. I don't know. Would you would you foster a kid for a reality TV show a la a world strictest parents or a wife swap? Let me uh let me let me be clear. I would foster a kid. I would not do it for a reality show because those are all scripted. Mm. I'm not fooled. You're not fooled. I'm not fooled. And that's true. And, and uh, I am an actor. So an actor. some of that I would be like, I'm sorry. I do not get the, I don't get what we're going for here. If you actually mm. want me to help this kid, I will help them. If you want me to play something up, go fucking take that someplace else. Okay. Yeah. I guess that's. I guess you really have to take hand in hand that premise with everything the early aughts uh, established for reality television, yes. which was a lot of fucking bad shit like yes. that. So, yeah. I guess I, I get that. I've watched me some Road Rules, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh, this is." It took me a while to go. Oh, these aren't just horrible. They're not just horrible people. Right. They're being told to be horrible in a certain. Oh, uh, and they just do that? They're like, oh well, anything for fame. It's like okay. Yeah. Yeah. I we well, you know, we talked about um Nathan Fielder's the rehearsal. Yes. On Cord Killers a while ago. One of one of the progenitors of Brian not being fooled. Ah. Because uh, he uh I don't know. He he I I'm, I'm I'm not gonna speak for him. I'm not gonna speak too much for him, but it seemed like he Saw some toothlessness of it, some little dulling of the edges, right? By thinking of all of the people who got involved as knowing, oh, they know Nathan Fielder, oh, they know that this is going to be a thing, and they they play into it, right? Which would make sense, except people who want to be on TV are 
will will don't need a connection to reality. Right. Like the, their desire to be on TV is enough to keep them attached to our space time continuum. Yes. Like they're not driven by ambition or blood or, <laughs> or oxygenation. They are driven by wanting to be on TV and they will fucking debase themselves for it. And, and it's that, unfortunate. It, it, that, that makes me very sad I know. when I see it. And that's, you know, th- there's so much, there's so much that's going on right now. And I do feel like the old man sometimes when I go, I just want to laugh. You I want to enjoy myself. You know, I want to watch a show that maybe makes me feel something, but it doesn't feel like it's always manipulating me. Hmm. You know, we're back to the we're back to the the bully videos where I keep going, oh, I don't want to see any more bully videos. Yeah. And so yeah, yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. many shows that are like that too, where it's just like Oh, this is just going to be a bummer, even though maybe I'll learn something. I, just, I can't. I just can't. Yeah. It's, this is, I don't know, this is crossing into some of what we'll talk about in the main show. Yeah. So, so if I might pivot just a moment. Pivot. Pivot. Uh, I, I watched a film over the weekend. Okay. A new film over the weekend. Tell me about it. It is the Neil Blomkamp directed Gran Turismo. I think that movie is made for you. Did they make that movie just for Bryce? Why do you Why do you say that? Because uh, it's a, a race. Because it's car. about a video game that I like. Yeah, a, 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 a video <laughs> game about race cars. Yeah, uh, I I think I have I think I am pretty pretty warm on it. Okay. I think I'm pretty good on it. Like I don't think it is a uh, it's not Citizen Kane. Sure. It's not The Godfather Part Two. No. You know? Are those two movies that you really, really watched a lot? I consider them some of the best movies of all time. Okay. And so it's not that. It really is a popcorn flick. Like, like honestly, it is a rags, or not a rags rich, but it's an underdog story brought to you by our friends at Gran Turismo. Okay, you know, which I think, un- like, actually, kind of works. Like, yeah. you're about you're about to you're about to do the thing that uh, uh, Brian or no, someone I said maybe it was Brian Lynch. Right? Like, say it. Uh, it's like that sounds Ar- good. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, that. But I was like, yeah. Arcane. This is well, that's what I was thinking. Oh, it's okay. like okay, it's possible to turn a video game into a movie or something that's sure worthwhile. Arcane is one that uh, I really enjoyed. Sure. So, I mean, even, even league of legends has canon. Like yes. it does like it, it's because they wrote a thousand characters and never needed to write anything else at all. Right. That, that you can pull a story. Out of it, but just pick some of these and uh, do that. Yeah. Where like Gran Turismo they don't even fucking put a story in uh, like a campaign in that game anymore. Oh, really? Like they have this they have this menu cafe menu system, the Gran Turismo Cafe. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you how Gran Turismo Seven works. Yes, it's kind of frustrating. The idea is you go to the cafe. So mm. it's one of the things on the world map. Ah, oh, pick one of these menus. Oh, well, you know, if you if, 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 to finish this menu, just go and do a place in these three races. Okay. Go uh, obtain these three cars, which you can get from these three races. <laughs> um, you do that for about, I don't know, 10, 20 hours. Uh and when you're really starting to get into a groove and you're really feeling like, okay, I kind of get it. Like I'm, I'm learning about the different types of cars. I'm getting, mm-hmm. you know, f- front wheel drive. Feel how the thing is going to work. A little bit. Yeah. You know, uh, bam. And end of, end of the game, the, <laughs> the game shows you credits and it's just, it wraps up. It's cause so it's really frustrating. So there's not a lot to pull a fucking movie out of there. Right. Um, and I think it's, it's kind of unfortunate when I have to put it like this. It is either a Gran Turismo movie mm-hmm. or it is a biopic about Yan Mar- Mar- Marlboro. Um, but they couldn't hang it on his name, so they had to hang it on the Gran Turismo name. Oh, because it is because it, it is it is a based on a true story. Right. You know, um, a a a uh, uh, they they put these kids in the car and this guy did OK and then he did OK. Okay. Um, like, like I, I don't. You don't want to spoil it. So I don't. I don't want to spoil it. Partly because it's, it's based on 
his real life, but it's the thing he's known for. Right. So I don't want to spoil it by saying like he does X good does the thing. in everything, right? Yeah, because uh, I think the movie does an okay job of it. Um, I, the other thing that I, I, the other big thought I had about it though is I think it does a good job of mimicking uh, as a story Yan's uh, the 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 protagonist's uh, progression in in the story. Right? He he starts off he likes Gran Turismo and he's playing the game and uh, he ends up being being a race car driver and being in in situations that are just race car driver situations. Right. Like it ends up becoming like a LaCroix flavoring of Gran Turismo in the second <laughs> okay. half of that movie. Sure. You know, they they play a sound they play a little boong sound effect. So you know this is like a video games. Video games were happening. Mm-hmm. But that that is what you also see in the movie, which is really heavy about it. I mean, like the first I think the first the opening sequence is actually like uh, uh, them is just like title. They're just title cards that say uh, Yamauchi made Gran Turismo in 1998. It's the most, you know, right. like that's how, how heavy handed it is. And then by the end of it, the they almost like have to do like a Chekhov's gun sort of thing for it just so that there's anything for the game to be about. Right. And so it's like, Oh, well I'm going to take the other line. And I, and I know that because of the game. Oh, okay. It's, so it, he goes a little to the it, left and he goes okay, around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's tough. Cause I think there are, there are problems with the movie and what it, what it's, what it's, story is because mm -hmm. uh, it's like not the most accurate it is like inaccurate uh the order of events is wrong in some pretty big ways yeah but it's inspired by a true story come on it's right. fine it's fine <laughs> okay i think we got the i think we got the chat uh back, back. up maybe yeah. maybe not hi everybody I, I did see that there was a drop in uh uh, your your connection dropped there for a second. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but thank you everybody for joining us. The recording will be fine. The recording. Yeah. The recording is fine. Uh, yeah. Hi everybody. It's just and they're back. Hello. Are you gonna watch Gran Turismo? Uh, would you? Would, does Gran Turismo sound like a Brett movie? Because it's very like it's pretty. It's it is like good for like thrilling like driving action. It, uh, I watched. What was the one? Where Ford they the Ford does the Ford versus Ferrari. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I liked that one. Okay, so I will probably see. I will see Gran Turismo. Yeah, it's it's. I think it's pretty good. I think I think it's good. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think you can do worse to have like a biopic about you. Yeah, that looks like that. If you have the type of results that he has yeah like it's not like he became max verstappen or mario andretti he didn't like become but the, he got uh, to do the thing but he did the thing and he made it work and like you gotta work out a lot like that's kind of the one the one thing i think it's really weird that they let let left out and because they don't do this anymore like them taking kids and putting them in a real car they did it once they did it this time right and they don't do it because we have esports and they just drive That's right. on their computer. Um, but I also think the other reason they don't do it, and they don't really talk about it, is like you have to be like really fucking fit. You have to be really fit to do. It's hot. Uh huh. You have to be able to withstand G forces. Many as you G forces. Go around. You have to know. I mean, like you got to know how to steer the thing. You can't. It's not mm -hmm. just. And it's you're it, not driving a Tesla in that thing. You're not, and it and it is dangerous. Yeah, and it is and it is dangerous. But, uh, 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 but they don't. They, I don't know if it's because Jen is already just kind of spelt, or maybe because he's from the UK. But the, you, I almost kind of expected them to have like the like training montage right. of him like working out his neck. At, you know, that's the big thing. And where necks. is he from? He's from uh, England. 
England. Cardiff. Okay. I think Cardiff. you were going to say Australia. And I was like, did he go to a horse farm? I mean, did no. <laughs> <laughs> it is? That's really what the movie is about. It's That's it's right. it's about horse. I mean, it's about uh, uh, car driving, but mm-hmm. in it is the relationship that gets built with the horse that he goes. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Gran Turismo 2, horsepower. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> we need more terms like horsepower or can- that are candles. Yeah. Candle power. Candle power. Um, uh, we need we need like 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 light, right? Okay. Well, that we that's candle lumens. L- candle, candle candle power candle lumens. Lumens. Sure. Hmm. Food. What's like a Food. What could a, f- a unit of food be? I mean, there's calorie, but calorie. Okay, but how do we make calorie? What about what about string beans? We we're gonna a, rate everything in string bean in string bean calories. Bean a, calories. A bean calories. Bean calories. You've heard of cake cows. Bean cows. Bean cows. Bean cows. Bean cows. Yeah. Think about that it. sounds like. Yeah. What's wrong? I haven't had enough bean cows. Man. I didn't even get my bean cows up. I didn't. I didn't stock up on bean cows until two o'clock. I my hunger is at a two point five stofers. I can. Re, I could really fucking. I could go for yes. I could. I could destroy. I could some handle a cuisines. couple of stofers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you a fro- are you a frozen food guy? Do you frozen food much? Uh no no. Uh, uh, uh Ek does. Yeah. She enjoys the the frozen foods, but I'm usually mm-hmm. cooking something and and doing. That. I do have certain things that uh, like uh, when I go to Louisiana, I get this smoked boudin, which we talked about That's before. Right. Boudin. That's in the frizz, freezer, so I can just take that and throw that in the thing, and and I, like suddenly my accent changes. I put that I in put there it. and I heat that thing up, <laughs> and that's good. Yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, it was an authentic act. I could tell it was an authentic accent. You're like that's Australian, right? Because I almost wanted to make fun of it, and I decided <laughs> against it because I knew you. I knew it wouldn't be that kind of thing. <laughs> You're like, is that Kiwi? Is that a Kiwi accent? Uh, no, no, he's. Uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, and of course we have just frozen things to where we can thaw them out later and cook. But sure. Yeah, there's an there's a thing going around. I guess Gordon Ramsay has a unveiled a line of frozen foods. Yes, which as a as a as a ram head as a ram's head, look, yeah, restaurants should not use frozen food. No, but you can have frozen food. Sure, you person like I live alone. I don't have I don't even have a hot a jacuzzi, but I live alone. <laughs> Uh, and I can't eat, I can't buy fresh. I can't fucking buy anything fresh. It nothing lasts. Yeah. I eat like shit. Yeah. And, and so like you're allowed to, you can have frozen stuff. You're fine. But yes. if you're going to a restaurant, if you're being served food, yeah, this should fucking be fresh. Yeah. It should be fresh. Anyway. Oh, that, brought to you by uh, Gordon Ramsay. I, I, uh, uh, growing up. When I lived on my own, mm-hmm. I was dumb enough to buy fresh, and it took me a very long time to go. Oh, if I'm gonna buy this, I have to cook it and make it like right. food planning became the thing, mm-hmm. and then I found restaurants. Yeah, and that's that's I, I think uh, uh, you know I don't I don't do the cocaine, I don't I don't play the horses, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I uh, I do not have an expensive car. Okay, what other things I, don't you do? Uh, I I I don't uh, I get uh, uh, the hookers. Oh, okay. Good. You know, like e- even when I was becoming more of an adult, you know, yeah. during that time where you can be a little crazy, I didn't spend my money on such things. Mm-hmm. The things where I wasted my money most was on food, which is kind of obvious. But uh, mm. that is what I used because you know, I kept going. Where have I lived outside of my? Yeah. My range, you know, the range, it's what, been food. What age period, what d- decades, what age period are we talking about? Just like as a as a child, as a young adult? Uh, as tw- a, 20s and 30s. 20s and 30s, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember as a teen, I don't know, like, I, like as I definitely spent money as a teenager on food a lot, you know, which was not exactly saving right. for anything. Right. But, well, but, like... I was also 
fucking treating myself. So yeah. So fuck off. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I because I have not been cooking much lately, uh, and I know I need to because mm-hmm. it's really expensive not to. Right. Uh, but. But I'm, I'm, I'm just as bad. I've fallen. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Well, I mean, in my neighborhood, there are probably about within walking distance of my house. Mm-hmm. There are. Oh, you have a fucking ton of places yeah. near you. I've got. I've That's got. Great. I've got three fast food places. You mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. your Arby's and such, right. the meats, and uh, then I've got eight. Asian restaurants, Ooh. like with some really good ones. Good stuff, yeah. I've got taco places. Mm-hmm. I have four taco places. Wow. Okay. That and not, not like and white no people hookers. Tacos. No hook. Oh, I'm sure there are hookers out there, <laughs> but uh, that's on the other side of the freeway. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I mean, and I we just wave at each other. There, we're sure. not. You know, shifts passing in the night. They understand that I'm in a commit, committed relationship. Yeah. So they're yeah. like, hey, oh, no, he's in a committed Oh, I can tell. Yeah. Pheromones. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got a qu- Okay. Here's a weird thing. And All I, right. I don't, I don't. Okay, it's just us, right? It's just us. It's just us. us. Okay. okay. There's a place near me. Okay. And I think it is something really sketchy. Sure. And I don't know what. It's okay, so it's it's the gaming hall. So I think it might be a gaming hall. Okay, but and I'm gonna get into my normal speaking okay, position. So now. anyway, uh, I I think it might be a gaming hall, but it because I've seen when I've when I've gone by there, I've seen like a guy posted up at like a bouncer or sure. just a doorman, but it's a lone place. Like, oh. that's what it says on the sign. Sure. And also the windows are blacked, blacked out. out. Ooh, that's... Ugh. But they're open a lot. Yeah. And on weekends and then in the evenings. And so I don't know if it's like, is that a loan shark out there? Is it a game hall? Could be a pawn, like a fencing type situation, May- possibly. Okay, maybe. I could see... Because uh, it's it's... It, 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 the, all the, the the sign and the information on it is there. There's nothing I could, I found with a very little searching. Right. But something's going on there, and I and and I don't because a game a, like a, 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 a one of the one of these gambling halls, gaming halls, whatever that doesn't really affect that. Uh, that I don't know. That is going to be what it is. Maybe that attracts crime, but I I, I don't know. But That's what a if it's chicken and egg type situation? But right? like, what if it's like human trafficking or Possibly. like the Mexican mob? Sure. The ma- the mafia. The ma- mafia. Mafia. Or just the mafia. Or even the mafia. It doesn't matter whether it's Mexico. It, yeah, that's right. I I I I don't know. So, oh, no. well, do you it's, think that the police or the law enforcement doesn't recognize that that's there? You're like, you think the police every day just drive, do, 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 no, nothing sketchy there. Just keep on going. I think so. I think so. I think so. So I, you've been, so. Because I, I, I'm, my observations are not exactly like fucking neon signs. Right. Like I've, I just, I've, I've passed by it enough times going to other places that. That I've seen like, oh, yeah, hey, there's fucking a guy posted up there for some reason. Yeah. I, like, yeah. What would be amazing to me, what I would find fantastic Please. is that if you did, didn't even call a 911, but you called the 311. Okay. The and said, hey, uh, you know, I walk by this place every day and there's a dude posted up. <laughs> Maybe you guys could take check into that, and they say, "You know what, Mr. Castillo?" Yeah, we'll get right on. No, it. no sarcasm. They go, "We'll get right on that," and that something happens. They do a big bust, hmm. and it never would have happened unless if you would have never said something. 
Oh, shit. But, they, of course, they don't know. It's, it's a victimless, for you, crime, yeah, yeah. or a victimless tell, because yeah. you're just doing what... So, but suddenly that whole thing gets shut down, and you know you were the one... How would you feel How, if you knew you were the <laughs> one would, that shut that down? I would have to know. I see. Like we're getting stitches, get stitches in, sure. the, in the chat already. That's first off the rule of the street. Like I, I would. That would be a weird one to break. That'd be a tough right. one to break. Um, but you could never come back here and go. Brett, guess what happened? I absolutely could never do. I no. could never do. No, I can't even call down. No. Because they're going to be like, oh, yes, the low uh -huh. shark in South Austin was. was found. And, yep. it was and you're like, obvious. that's fucking me. Fuck. That was me. No, but I can't even tell people oh, that it happened. That's true. Because then they're going to be like, because, A, OPSEC, you're, you're going to find out where I where I live and where I go. Yeah. Um, they come in and they're like, hey, it's not going to be a great night for you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the other thing. I don't want to be a fucking target for the mob. <laughs> the Don McDon is not. <laughs> Ronald McDon like, like, needs to get off my nuts. I'm not going to cross yeah. the, the, the Burger Kingdom. Uh, it's, it's, uh, 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 so so that's so that would be that would be a tough a tough part of it. Do, do because, you, uh, oh, go ahead. Because do. I don't because the other because. The other reason I couldn't like talk about it if something happened is because then I would just be painting a huge fucking target on my back, a very yeah. specific target yes. on my back in the same city. Yes, I don't live that. It's uh, not it, that far. It's not that far. Yeah. Here's here's a here's a question. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm boasting of the restaurants that are around my place. Yeah. 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 There are some restaurants. I barely remember they exist, and I don't really know the reason why I don't go into those places. Do you have that where you go, oh, yeah, there's that fight, and I've been living at my house mm -hmm. since 2007. And you've just never gone? And there, I can tell you there's about eight places around that I've never walked into those places. There, there's one place right by me that is that exact thing. Do you have a vibe, or you just don't even think about it? Uh, part of it is I don't, I don't eat, I don't dine out a lot. It would be okay. a dine-in thing. Okay. So, so I don't dine out a lot. Um, uh, okay. Well, here's uh, you tell me what this is because I know I think I know why I don't go there. Okay. It's just us. It's right? just us. Okay, just here we are. Again. I'm gonna put my All right, on sure. Here. So I was told a few years ago. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. Who knows what is that? What is the situation now? I was told a few years ago that a uh, like a second cousin of mine uh, works as a bartender at this restaurant that is like right next door to my house. Like okay, right down the street from my house. I don't like this second cousin very much. Oh, okay. Well, that's we did easy. not have sure. We it was it was not like we fought or anything or were rival. It was just a thing where you you you, you know it's not gonna work. You know it's not gonna work, and you don't see each other enough to like try to even yeah like yeah you know I was like off whatever yeah like that that's all. And so there wouldn't be I I, I don't know it it was. It was a, it was a like surprise to to find out on the phone that like oh I'm actually like right, right there next door. where where, uh, and then just no I'm not gonna yeah. no I'm not I'm good I'm fine I'm good I don't have anything to talk to her about right we would have. I mean, we, yeah what's would the be, point there would not even be anything to catch up on we are so not of anything so. You know enough people. You said that, not me. I can... Let me help you out here. Please. I definitely have my... I mean, my mom was the youngest of 13, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all my uncles and aunts then had 12 kids each. Like, it was Cajun, very Catholic, yeah. that kind of thing. Boudin. It's Boudin. And so... There are definitely times where I had to decide. There are cousins I really, really like. 
I'm going to just be okay with not knowing the other ones. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot. Because my dad is from a big family as well. It's a lot. Mm. And then they get, and then they got kids. Sure. And then the kids are getting kids. Yep. And then, and then they got their whole uh, 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 niece and nephew thing going on. Like, mm-hmm. uh, 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 I'm, I'm over here. I'm over here. But, but now I'm also got like second and third cousins that are in the, I don't know how all of that works. Mm-hmm. Just the cousin that's a kid of my actual right. So I don't know how that once removed. I don't know. Yeah. That's not important. No, it's not. But it's been fun getting to know some of them. Some I don't want to get to know. Mm -hmm. Once again, there's enough people. Oh, excuse me. (laughs) Spit all over you. There's enough people out in the world. I'm okay. I'm okay. We don't have to. Mm. We don't have to know each other. It's. Yeah. It's tough saying that mm-hmm. i think it's uh, it's difficult to think it it's difficult to like to kind of accept and put that as a reality yeah in 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 your psyche um and it's doubly tough to say that because it's kind of like it doesn't sound good no it's like it, it like it it, it it is cringy we're grinchy a little bit here. You think so? I guess I've just had so many family members that after a while, mm. there does come a point to where you're like, no, nah, I'm good. Well, I, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying is like that. Maybe maybe I'm weird about it because I'm, I'm not I'm not exactly saying I got my shit on the lock. Right. But, you know, what's your family? Sure. You know? Shouldn't, shouldn't you shouldn't you at least lie and pretend to want to say like ah oh, yeah you know we should like that's I oh wow this I, is this is uncovering a lot I am of the age now that was the the big thing that uh, my cousins who are my favorites where we love each other I mean not that I don't love the other ones I just know these ones better right. But we all looked around and we were like, to, we, we realized we're the olds now. Yeah. We're the, mm-hmm. we're the, and we're like, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think uh, uh, Trump coming through uh, pretty much cleaned up a lot of that mess mm-hmm. because I've got a lot of Trump supporting uh, cousins and I mean, nobody's going to be surprised when I'm not a fan. And it was enough to where I'm like, Oh, you're, that's even more of a reason why I don't need to talk to you anymore. Yeah. So families, families are weird, man. Yeah. Families are super weird. All you know, between between just human dynamics, right? Just the fucking dynamics of of interacting with someone who's, you know, 20, 30 years older than you. Yeah. And then also, oh, also you're their fucking blood. Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is not this is not a subtweet. I love you, Dad and Mom. <laughs> uh, let, please let's change the topic. Let's move on. <laughs> it's so funny. It is so funny to know that there are times where I'm just so direct about things and everybody's like, oh, I'm like, really? This is the thing? I mean, mm-hmm. I just find that funny. Yeah. 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 You're direct. You're a direct guy. I, Would you say that you are uh, good with conflict? Yes. Yeah. Well, because I, for me, it's not that I'm looking for conflict, but I want to avoid no. it. If it's something that we need to take care of, let's just take care of it. Mm-hmm. Are you are you good at giving like constructive? Uh, I would presume so. I would say, are you good at giving constructive feedback? But I I would pres well, I would say that. But I know I'm not always good at receiving constructive feedback. Yeah, and it and it is sometimes difficult to give. Difficult feedback. I, I am for me. I am. I've gotten a lot better at receiving uh, a constructive feedback. Yeah. Uh, because it's in a way like I've in my other work that I do. There are so many times where stuff is coming at me, and instead of I've learned a less about defending myself, mm-hmm. and and me yeah. more going, oh, that's how you see me. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. The, the the self defense thing is like definitely what what 
what triggers for me yeah is like uh i especially had this a lot when i was editing uh, earlier on when i was editing here of of uh i, I don't know b- b- just uh, just having a tough time taking taking feedback especially broad feedback or like general unspecific feedback yeah uh because you know at some point in my head it's like well yeah i thought i thought this was good to go i feel like i made that decision or this decision or that decision whatever yeah um and it is tough to like in some cases like swallow your pride yeah or or you know try something else like it is, it is difficult uh, to to do it, I'm not surprised that like there's a show about giving, showing kill, children how to ride <laughs> just, horses. We just got to fix it. Let's talk about our triggers instead of something funny. <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, thank you for that. Thank you for that feedback. Thanks. I will uh, take that, <laughs> and we will talk more about horses from now on. That's and, it. and 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 uh, horsepower mm-hmm. and everything about. In fact, let's get Heaton back in here. We can talk. Yep. Really about horses because that's his thing. Do you know horses and ponies are different? No, they're not the same thing. I thought the ponies pony is, were just a little horse. I know no, they're a, they are just a small horse. They're just a breed of small horses. Oh, okay, they are not young horses. Though. No, they're not okay, child horses. They are separate things. There was a time where uh, where that was something I thought, but yeah. no longer. That and quicksand. Quicksand's not. I really thought there would be. Quicksand would be a more of a thing. Nerve, in my life. nerve agent, nerve gas. Yep. Uh, the duck and cover. Trap doors. Sure. Yep. yep, uh, yep, yep. Satanic panic. <laughs> well, no, you're just describing things that did. Well, okay. It, well, then it would have affect me. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I. Mm, hmm. Yeah. And now they're talking about football teams. Who is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The uh, there's oh hey hello. hey uh, uh, huh? we've got uh, a Justin uh, 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 Robert Young joining us here uh, uh, so e- many things going on wait is Ika here no she she is here but she brought that for me what is it it is a uh, 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 cherry limeade cherry limeade raspberry yeah. cherry limeade yeah something like that something like that with like a fireball in it yep. Yeah. you're gonna try to sneak it into the theater that's like right. your <laughs> right, right in the middle trying to see species two. <laughs> Man, I love that species. chick from Species. What is Species Two? Yeah. Uh-huh. Natasha Henstridge. Yes. Look up the classics, my man. Yeah. I just, I'll put it on my. I'll put that on on, on my. Did top that one 100. also have Michael Madsen? I think he might have no, been the I... only one that was also in in both species. I only saw the first one. Yeah. So uh, uh, is it was... about? Is it about genus and phylum, class orders, and all? Well, it's about an alien. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That is eating people. Mm-hmm. Okay, but so she's I was on the wrong side. Sexy lady, and mm-hmm. she has sex with them. Yep, and then she eats. Them. She eats them. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it's a very uh, uh, attractive woman named Natasha Henstridge. Yep. And it was so popular that they made a sequel. Yep. Because mm-hmm. people walked out of that movie, and uh, the biggest complaint was, "I'd like to see Nahash- Natasha Henstridge naked more." A little more. And, and probably. And they're it. like, "Well, enough to see another movie." And Theater goers were like, ah, sure, sixty <laughs> percent, <laughs> a resounding that's maybe. That's, that's why there was mm. not a species three. No, <laughs> they're like, you know, I think we've uh, we yeah we've uh, yeah. mined this She's, one. She's uh, very attractive. Yeah, that sounds like the villain from Men in Black too, where she was that she was the model, she was the alien who, who landed on Earth, but she was it she finds a Victoria's Secret magazine when she lands and so oh is that one with laura flynn boyle laura flynn boyle i think was the bad i think yeah that's uh, right and uh and johnny knoxville yep was really good in that yeah he's a good actor yeah he is yeah that movie's good i'm i'll go to bat for men in black too yeah that's a good movie. Uh, I, I will say now batting Bryce Castillo <laughs> for Men in Black Two. Before we wind up, I think Men in Black Two was great. No, I think it was really great. Uh, so, so are we? Are we doing a? I don't want to uh, to uh, uh, point a AI at, mm. at at the tech, but like, are, are we doing a full recording only episode because it seems like there's like stream issues uh the uh, yeah uh, uh 
It's been going in and out. Yeah. yeah. It's been going in and so out. So this is recording. But, so we are assuming that this is... We have no idea. I, I, the flip, the flip, the switch that I can flip is twenty feet over there. Yeah, and so I will go flip that switch. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo. Hey. Five minutes. Thank you, five. Thank you, five. Uh, man, we almost had a a high powered internet guest uh, on the show, uh, Darren Kitchen, but uh, he decided to just park in the parking lot. Sure, take a call. And then leave. The man left. Darren. Yeah. Man, I was looking forward to seeing him, too. Too bad. Huh. And you want to know what the worst part of it is? Is that he said, uh, hey, let Brett know. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a that joke. That was the between worst it. part. It seems like he's oh, being no, mean. No, 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 no. Then he said, also, I know he makes say this. Part. <laughs> this, is this is a real specifically. personal insult. Yeah. Yeah, but then that's part of our thing too. Oh, so okay. we're oh, just oh. Then he we're said, just wacky. Brett's great. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, uh, by the way, uh, we're doing this part, and I'm glad that you guys have a, a moment to carve out for yourselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you ran into a homeboy from what we do in the shadows. Oh yeah, uh, 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 Harvey Gian. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, at at our uh, at EK and I's uh, wedding anniversary dinner over at the fancy, delicious Emmer and Rye restaurant. I wish that was a an ad that I could be pushing out because that place is fantastic. I think I went there. That's it's, in East Austin. It's no, it's on Rainy Street, and it's not yeah. a standalone. It's part of one of the new buildings. Okay. Yeah. If you have, you, that's one of those places where I'm pretty sure you'd remember if you'd been there. I know a lot of because it's fa- it's fancy, not snotty fancy, but people passionate about food fancy. All right. Oh, you've a you've a couple of, of those. It's a Bay Area. That's sure. like, oh, that's that's true. a that's a yeah. that's true. And they all have the same fucking name. Yeah, they're all like blank and blank. <laughs> yeah, and and sometimes if they want to be like working class, it's like uh, uh, eat uh, 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 <laughs> jeans, and uh, it's always a, a low class thing and a high class. The noun thing. and noun. Yeah, but it, yeah, got it's it. It's like 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 Did denim, just... denim, and foie gras. Oh, like, sure. Denim and foie gras. Yeah, yeah. that's a restaurant. Rap group I've ever heard of. <laughs> mm. they, the oh, guy would have to be French. Denim and foie gras. <laughs> We're low class and have it all. <laughs> You've just described country music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you eating? Uh, charcuterie. Yes. Uh, uh, Doug. Doug brought a charcuterie. Yes, yeah, no, sure. It's great. It's great. I mean, would, it's a would fancy. You, would you like a bite? Yeah, I would. What, what is it? We got uh, some cracker. We got some cheese cracker. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a fancy. Uh, uh, oh, it's like a little pizza. Man. Yeah, for me. Yeah, just go oh, ahead. Thank you. Close it off. <laughs> oh, now Close it's it gross. <laughs> now it's gross. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. <laughs> but but so Harvey Gian, yes, uh, he ended up sitting right next to Ek and I. Oh really? And uh, did you say anything? I yes, I did. Uh, uh, it, it was it was because we saw we saw uh, uh, Blue Beetle, the movie okay. Blue Beetle, and yeah. he's in it. Oh, he's in it. And so we were talking about that. Wait a minute, who? Uh, Harvey Guillen. He's uh, Guillermo. Guillermo from. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you pronounced it different than the way I read it, but 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 you met Guillermo. Yes. So so he's great. Why did you shout. Uh, and why was the answer? Guillermo, nope. I need da, da, da. No, 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 I did not do any of that because I already saw like first when he came, we were talking about Blue Beetle, EK and I were, and then he walks by and I'm like, that's the dude that we saw in the movie just three hours ago. Yeah. And she's like, are you? No. And I was like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And so he sits with a, a young lady Right next, like the next table, so it's us and oh, the, is he right there. there for the con? Yes, he was there for the con. Yes, and so he had a big comic galaxy Con. Labor Day, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, he 
uh, you know, and a couple people walk by, I love you, and we, what are we doing? So, hey, gear. So that already happened. So but, bros okay. are oh, yeah. coming over and doing the a little bit, thing. and he's like, oh, okay. Re- real quick, can we give a gift to everybody who finds themselves in this position? Like, like, what does the talent want to hear? Because they most certainly don't want to hear how young you were right. when you first saw their thing. I mean, that's okay. They personal, personal also, times. Yes. yes. Yeah. They, they also probably don't want to hear them describe or to you that scene, the thing that you did that yes. you were very much aware of that you did. Yes. Like, what is the right answer? So I've thought about this because I've been in so many situations where I can meet someone who I find famous, popular, successful. And so, uh, first of all, I try, I personally try not to do the thing that everybody else is doing, which is, which is shouting the phrase or you were this or blah, 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 blah. You you don't shout beefcake. No. Yeah. No. So, uh, in this case, in this case, I let it him sit them at least get a, a drink or something like that. Cause they're literally next. They're to you. literally right yeah. next to me. And so I say to EK, I think I need to go say hi. I think I'm going to just go say hi. And she's like, yeah, okay. And so I walked over. If I may. Yes. Justin and I are going to recreate this scene. Okay. Yes. Here I am. I'm, what's his name? Harvey Guillen. Harvey Guillen. Okay. I'm, I'm eating. Um, no, he's not eating. You know what? The scene. <laughs> yes. I am okay. In, I'm busy. Sure. And then up comes. Can you, you please Just- take notes on this? <laughs> yeah. <scene? what? laughs> Justin. Justin is you. Uh, uh, I, this is how we imagine it happening. Yeah. Um, uh, um, by the way, no, 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 no you're you're EK. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, okay. oh, just no, don't, no, just no, don't no. go over there. Oh, don't go no, over no, there. No, no. I'm Brett Weaver. <laughs> don't go over I, there. I have to. Oh, don't go. Why? Oh, fine. Oh, okay. No, 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 fine. No, don't no. give me lip. <laughs> just, just. Be- I need oh. to talk to this um, actor. You know what? Actor I'm, to no, actor, no, 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 he'll understand. Okay, a little bit of that. Um, no, no, so no, 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 I said, no, no, I'm going to go draw while you just talk. I'll just draw on this napkin. Just go ahead. Oh, so Hello, on oh, peer actor. <laughs> we communicate with the actor's salute. Yes. Hi. As a good actor would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, may, may, may I help you? I was in the middle of these boneless chicken wings. Yes, as they have at fancy restaurants. <laughs> It was deconstructed. Uh, that's second. right. Deconstructed. Yeah. I would like to offer you a salutations for the good craft you put in in so many fantastic works, such as grabs saucy nug gets towards the <laughs> mouth. Nug. Ah, we're entering in to the greatest tit-a-tit. That two actors can a recitation of no credits. Notes. No notes. Indeed. <laughs> Blue Beetle <laughs> was an absolute rhapsody. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, one of the things I love most about performing in Blue Beetle as an actor, my fellow compere, I remember portraying somebody who was not who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now do me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know you. On the same level That's of acting. Right. That's right. Don't oh. be shy. <laughs> okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Just wipe my mouth. Mm. Hello. I'm desperate for your attention. No, the, the, the whole exchange was maybe one minute. And yeah. it was, uh, hi, you're Harvey Guillen. And I just wanted to say that Thank I goodness, watched your movie. I said, I, I, watched, I watched Blue Beetle just today. And it was just crazy for you to walk by. And I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed that show and how the themes that were in it. It was great to see that a Latino family had a superhero in it. Yeah. And I said, and it really made a connection with me, with my Cajun heritage, because there's kind of a similarities between family structures. Okay. Yeah, that's and kind I, of embarrassing. Go ahead. Well, but, and yeah. I said, and I said, uh, I said, uh, uh, 
uh, this is my wife, EK. Uh, my name's Brett Weaver. I'm I'm a voice actor. Yeah. And, and I said, but I just wanted to come and tell you how much we really enjoyed that. And, of course, your other work that you've done, too. And, th and then you punched, punched out. And he went, he went, well... He said, well, I'm Her uh, Harvey. I was like, yes, nice to meet you. This is my sister. And I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And he said, so uh, what are you here for? He asked me, what are you here for? I was like, oh, it's our anniversary, 18th anniversary. So it's great that you're an actual connection to our yeah. 18th anniversary. And he's like, great. And I go, have you had the bread yet? And he's like, no. I go, that is the best thing. And as our waiter walked by, I grabbed him and I said, hey. Get him the bread. I said, he hasn't gotten the bread yet. We need to get him the bread. What the fuck, my guy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have one job and you fucking No, I, yeah, I was Mo. like, you oh fucking piece of shit. Do you know what Gizmo? <laughs> Gizmo, bring me bread. <laughs> and, 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 and he was like, is it really that good? And he, the one time Nico, she goes, oh no, it yeah. really is that good. Look, and then we're like, okay, thank you. She yeah, just looks up from her Wacom It's great. <laughs> right back into it. <laughs> Big laughs in here. On that one. <laughs> too <laughs> close. Alright, we're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Punching out on my own Bye. joke. Yep. Alright. Thank you to the green room, everybody. Hello, welcome back. Hello, welcome back. Hi, everybody. It's... Uh, oh. Hi everybody, it's the rest of the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room. Whole dang thing, Bryce Castillo here. Castile, that's right. Coming to Castile your heart here at the rest of the Great Night Pre-Show. Uh, let's, you wanna do, uh, oh, we got it. Well, first, okay, we got a couple of things we're gonna do. First off, we're gonna do birthday borners. This is where uh, we are gonna give away uh, uh, many free shout outs to all of our uh, folks in the community. To let us know about their birthday borners in their Discord channel. Birthday borners. It, uh, uh, I think it's great. Discord.greatnight.tv. I think that's that. All right. Uh, we have some birthdays here, including Fearless Freep, whose birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Fearless Freep. We've also got El Condor Pasa's birthday, whose uh, birthday is on Friday. Happy birthday, El Condor Pasa. We've got Captain Jack's birthday. Tomorrow, happy birthday, Captain Jack, a prolific marble racer this season uh, and last season. Uh, and Shane, Shane's younger daughter, Violet, turns one year old today. Happy birthday, Violet. Oh, if you've got a birthday you want to shout out on the show, go to our birthday borner channel in the Discord, greatnight.tv slash Discord. Uh, Socrates420 in the chat. Uh, is also letting us know that it was uh, his birthday on the 8th. Happy birthday, Socrates, 420. Let's do a little bit of a critical racing theory, talking about some fast cars here. Uh, we've got a new race this weekend, the Singapore Grand Prix on the Marina Bay City Street Circuit Course, whatever they call it. Uh, they've removed one of the chicanes uh, there's a little bit less chicanery uh, in Singapore this weekend. We will see. I guess the big, the big, the big story is: Will Max extend his record-breaking uh, streak of wins? Uh, and and who will be who will be the number two? Uh, Sergio Perez is doing all right, but uh, we've seen a lot of development from Mercedes and Ferrari. Uh, Aston Martin have been have had their moments. Even Williams did got some points uh, on on Ma, at Monza because they had that they, their their car is turns out their car is faster. Turns out one of the worst teams in the in in the sport, but they've got one of the faster cars. Uh, uh, and it sounds like we won't have uh, one Daniel Ricardo uh, at Singapore uh, this weekend. Maybe maybe he'll join us in Japan. He says. But uh, he broke he broke his hand a few weeks ago. Still, still got to get that. Get, get, get. I, if I broke my hand, caller, yeah, I uh, that would be it. Like, no. there's only so much of my no of my thing I can do with a broke with a busted no. hand. I, bro no, 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 I broke no, 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 my no. hand once. I didn't even know it. Well, and it plus just also fat. we we've been working on a whole mechanism where like uh, uh, we've been talking with our buddy Elon. And there are these yeah. probes we can put in your brain. Big probes. And you could just sit there and your eyes can roll back in their head. Oh. And then finally, I like doing that. And then finally, 
we can just have you switch the show and and what? While while you can't speak your snark, it will be <laughs> wow. heard. Well, yeah, we're talking about my if I broke my hand. Because he was gonna, yeah. No, I and, mean, and Brian like, took that to mean that you wouldn't be able to be of service to him, <laughs> and he was explaining how that would be. Possible. How you would construct a matrix-like yeah. scheme yeah. to to I continue might have to exploit me? A few steps ahead. Yeah, <laughs> but, but the spirit is is again, the same. Again, a subscription service for just the lore. <laughs> that exists between where the conversation was and where Brian just brought it. <laughs> if it could just pop up as a text message on my watch, yeah. it's like, oh, uh, uh, Brian, there's a whole... Describing yeah. Bryce with his eyes glowing blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Bryce mentioned that his hand broke, which Brian then took them in that he would be of no use to him. But Brian will always, or Bryce will always be used to Brian, thanks to brain <laughs> implants. <Yeah>. Ah! <laughs> this is like how I find <laughs> shrines in Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Philip K. Dick over here. I'm a bit uncomfortable with how on the nose this is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bryce, maybe we should start the show. All right, let's check in and see how everyone's doing to start the show. Of course, if you wanted to support the show, you could do so over on Patreon. Patreon.com slash great night is the website. Let's see how everyone's doing. Uh, let's see here. Annalisa! I'm wonderful. Kidden! Great. Brett. Hello, friend. Justin! Can someone give me one of these malt liquors? <laughs> we've, got, we've got it. Top men are on it. Uh, Brian. I am the best. He is the absolute best. Brett. I, I'm going to ask you again. Are you ready? Hello, Brad. Love it. Love it, love it. What about the audience in our studio chat? And everybody is so beautiful, wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here in the Great Night Pre-Show Program. That's what this whole thing is. Let's get started with the show. Brett, are you ready? Yes. Take it away, then. <laughs> <laughs>